Hi everyone and welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. Now this is from the 2013 F325 OCR A exam and really the first thing you might be thinking when you're looking at one of these electrochemical series is exactly what I've pinned for you just up here. You may be looking at this and thinking, what am I going to be doing with this? Um, the exam question itself got you to look at certain combinations of different uh, redox systems from this, and you can see the number down the left-hand side. Um, and what you've also got are the electro potentials for the half cells down the right-hand side. What you'll also notice is, if you just have a look down the side, they are not in one particular order. So you can see we've got the most negative one at the top, which is the magnesium one of the minus 2.37. But then there is a jump to the copper, which is plus 0.34, and then back down again to the second most negative one, which is the aluminium at minus 1.66. We can certainly look at this though for some general characteristics and some features that we uh, are meant to be aware of. Now one of the most important things is, we can see here, even including the copper to be honest with you, because it is quite a low positive, not the lowest of all, but it is quite a low positive. In fact it is the lowest of the series we've got here, but what we've definitely got is, can you see how these are all solid metals on this side? Now that's because metals, so any sort of metal in the solid state, actually typically is a very good example of a reducing agent. Now for the example for instance then of the magnesium, that's got the most negative electropotential. We can see that just up here at the two point sorry the minus two point three seven. What that means is when the magnesium's equation, when the magnesium's redox system, as identified by this particular question, uh, number one is combined with any of the others, it's going to be the magnesium's half equation, which is reversed and ends up becoming the oxidation out of the redox, and the other would proceed as the reduction, as written currently on the uh, picture. So here the magnesium would end up, I'm not going to show the half hours for this because it's not really the point I'm trying to make, and I'm also leaving the state symbols out, but the magnesium would do this, so it would actually proceed losing the electrons just here, there we go, and that's essential of a reducing agent because that means it's going to be giving those electrons to something else and causing that something else to be reduced. So the something else could be the copper, it could be the aluminium, it could be the iron 3+, plus. it could be the iodine, the chlorine, the ClO-, minus. it could be anything from there at all. So what we can certainly say is uh, with absolute certainty in this list here of this redox systems given by the exam question, magnesium is the most powerful reducing agent. And also notice my specifics here. I'm saying magnesium. I'm not just saying that general half equation. I'm saying the magnesium from it is the most powerful reducing agent. Now, by contrast then, the most positive value, so if we were looking at the most positives one now, we can see that our most positive is the plus 1.63 down here, which is for this one at the very end just here. The ClO minus half equation. And we can also see here, which is quite important actually, we've definitely got some acidic conditions in this one. So there you go, some acidic conditions just pointed out to you. Now you can see here, this contains the most powerful oxidizing agent. Now an oxidizing agent, remember, is going to cause something else to lose electrons because it's got to oxidize it. And that's what oxidation is. So it's got to be really, really, really good at accepting them. And we can see that it is accepting electrons here. And this really positive value over here, this plus 1.63, tells us that that ClO- minus is a very powerful oxidizing agent. It's going to drag the electrons closely towards it. Now, just like in the uh, early description, the magnesium was able to combine with anything from the left-hand side below it, we could also say that the ClO- minus can combine here with anything from the right hand side above it. Um, and that does include, by the way, just to make it really clear, I am aware still that these two are the wrong way around over here, so the uh, 0.34 and the minus 1.66, I am aware. But that what I've just said is still absolutely true because this is the most positive value. And so it would be able to combine with any of those and it would display um, its oxidizing ability and it would proceed in this reduction direction as written. 
So hopefully that takes you through uh, what the table, what the series can tell us in the exam. And then when you have a look at this particular paper, you'll see that they are combining particular redox systems together and expecting you to detail the type of reactions that could take place, any feasible reactions, ones that will clip together, um, and so on from the combination they give you. I'll leave you to the rest of the playlists. Happy revising.